Hey everybody, Rare Diamonds Too Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Soul Snacks video. Cop to Raz, 10 year old disabled girl. This video was once again requested, guys. Let's get into it. Look in the window. Please put your hands on your lap and don't make any sudden movements. Why are you racially profiling this girl? Why are you two here harassing my daughter? He was the one that said she looked suspicious. So stick with me, rookie. You, you'll learn a lot, okay? This black uh, lady officer right here, she know that's not right. She she spoke up, watch. She I've been on doing this for 33 years. So what made you become a police officer? Well, uh, it all started when I wanted to do, you know, give back and do good for the world. Control to 1735. Yeah, 1735, Sergeant John are here. Go ahead, dispatch. One, but of course he's not gonna show his racism to her because they work together, so he gotta seem you know, on the up and up. 735, respond to Peacock Drive for 459. Suspect is male, African American, heading north on foot towards 14th Street. Right around the corner, we'll respond, 10-4. Let's go get him, rookie. Dispatch, this is 1735, Sergeant Janner. We're Peacock and 14. No sign of the suspect, we will continue the search. Come on. Williams, look in the window. They gotta look for a black male. Oh, I just see a little girl, but I don't see a suspect. Let's go check it out. It could be something. She could be related to the suspect. Nah, just because she black? Get out of here. Suspect. She could be a lookout. What the he just girl? he just enjoying the view. Listen, Get out of here. Just follow my lead, and I'll show you how it's done. You stay with me long enough, you'll be able to spot a criminal when you see one. Nah. Let's go. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Chloe. Are your parents home, Chloe? No, my dad's still at work and my mom went to the grocery store. You're all alone? I wouldn't be opening up the door for no kind of officer. I don't know. Like, I just don't trust that. No, nah, if, especially if I'm a kid, I'm a kid and I'm home alone, I'm not opening a door for no officer. Are you sure about that? You know, it's a crime to lie to the police, young lady. Yes, it's just me. So... You haven't heard anything or seen anybody? There's a suspect loose in the neighborhood, and you looking out the window is awful suspicious. Are you serious? No, I haven't. Hmm. Would you excuse us for a moment, Chloe? Sure. Why are you racially profiling this girl? I'm not profiling anybody. Yeah, I'm you just are. Following my investigation. The only reason you knocked on the door was because you saw the color of her skin. And because she's black, you thought she had something to do with the robbery. Look, rookie, you've hardly been on the job. You have no experience. Don't tell me what to do. Don't interrupt me. Do you understand? I know there's something about this little girl that's not right. Nah. Her, her skin apparently isn't right to you because that's why, why you're judging her. As I was saying, do you mind if we come on in the house and check around? For your own safety, please put your hands he didn't on your lap say yes and, no. and don't make any sudden movements. That won't be necessary, Chloe. You can leave your hands exactly where they are. Captain Porter, I, I didn't know you were coming. How did you get into the house? This is my house. I live here. Wow, and that's his daughter. Wow. And I can see that you've already met my daughter, Chloe. I like how he showed up. Hey, honey, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You live here? Yes, this is, this is my house. But why are you two here harassing my daughter? We were chasing down a lead, Captain. There's a suspect loose in the neighborhood. I'm sure you heard. It was on the radio. I heard that, and that's why I came home early to well, check my you... family. But I didn't expect to have two officers harassing my daughter. We're not harassing her, sir. We were just 
investigating. So how did you end up at my front doorstep? The rookie saw her through the window, sir, and she thought she looked suspicious, and she wanted to come in and investigate. He blame he blaming it on the on a new girl. Are you kidding me, bro? No, that was you. She better speak up and tell him. I told her we didn't need to, but she wouldn't listen to me. No. You know how these rookies are, sir. That's not true. He was the one that said she looked suspicious. So you saw her looking through the window and that looks suspicious. It's not her skin color that made her look suspicious. No, sir. Yes, it is, it is. So yes, it why is. did you knock on my door? Well, when I saw her in the window, I knew there was a suspect in the area. And I just wanted to make sure she was safe. <laughs> nah, you lying. You lying nah, because you thought she had something to do with it. <sighs> You're lying. You asked my daughter to look through this house because you believe that she was hiding a suspect here. Then you told her to put her hands where you can see them and not to make any sudden moves. What, you thought my daughter was keeping a weapon beneath her wheelchair? I'm sorry, Captain. <laughs> I shouldn't assume that. No, I don't apologize. I tried to, I did, but he wouldn't listen. He's right, Dad. She tried to tell him not to, but he just didn't listen. So she, the rookie, knew how to handle the situation better than you did? Yep. Sergeant, how long have you been on? 33 years, sir. 33 years. I'm pretty sure that the community appreciates your service. But today is your last day. Bye. I want you to go back to the station, and I want you to clear out your desk. Now, if you two don't mind, I want to spend some quality time with my daughter. The captain, get out. You're right, get out. Did you know? Yes. Captain Porter was right. There's no excuse for what I did today. And I'm sorry for dragging you into it. Yeah. Throwing me underneath the bus? He was trying to... He was going to cost her her job. Lies He's completely her. classless, too. Let me give you some piece of advice, Sergeant. We don't learn from our experiences. We learn from reflecting on our experiences. Yep. Great losses can be great lessons. Thank you, Officer. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.